I went through the boxes that have just arrived and did a really rough calculation. And there are over $10,000 of knives in these boxes that I have to give away. Well, I don't have to give them away, but I am giving them away. So, yeah, it's happening. <laughs> Um, so as you guys know, in the last week or last week's video, I posted um, some of the knives I was giving away. And so I've been reaching out to a bunch of you guys on YouTube in the comments section below. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just go to last week's video and you'll see. And so I reached out to about a dozen of you guys. Uh, so congratulations, everyone who I picked for that giveaway. You guys are all getting those knives. So this week, I'm going to give another dozen knives away. And I'm just doing this because it's fun. Okay, I'm, I love doing what I'm doing. Um, I'm also doing it because there's so much, you know, negativity going on in the world right now. There's so much struggle, uh, a lot of pain going on right now, and I'm just trying to put some smile on some people's faces, and that's really all I'm doing. So hopefully over the next few weeks, as I'm sorting these knives out, I'm going to give away roughly a dozen knives a week or a dozen knives every other week um, as time permits. So. This is kind of happening at the at the same time that I'm moving and kind of clearing house to move into a studio space. So this box right here is from my friends over at Cutlery and More. It's a box of used and damaged knives. I know a lot of you guys actually want to repair your own knives, so this is your chance for that. These knives over here are my, from my friends over at Nobu, and uh, I'll show you guys some of the stuff that they're developing. And uh, I'm one of the very first people to get their knives to test them, so I'm excited for that. All right, so let's start with the used and damaged knives here. I think this is this is always fun to do because <laughs> this is a Shun. So this is a pretty pricey knife. Let's see what damage. Oh, oh man, beautiful little knife with a damage. Uh, the first top quarter of the knife is pretty ripped up. I don't like seeing damaged knives like this. It's it's terrible. Oh, one of my favorite little knives, the Enzo Prep knife. That is a shame. That's terrible. That's a broken and bent tip, and there's chips all along the cutting edge. Uh, <laughs> I don't like seeing knives like this. Ooh, it's a Yaxel. It's a Yaxel Suchibon utility or slicer and uh, uh, about a quarter inch tip missing. Oh, the knife actually looks almost brand new just with a broken tip. Now that is a shame. Uh, mm -mm. It's, yeah, it's an eight inch chef knife. It's a Nexus. It's just a little dirty. Somebody returned it. Buyer's remorse. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, it's a meat cleaver. And this is a brand new knife. It's missing the original box. So uh, I'm guessing the customer bought it, kept it in his or her knife drawer, and just never used it, tossed the box away, and decided that they wanted their money back. So someone's getting a brand new cleaver. Let's see, look, oh, look at this. Shafton glass whetstones. And I would be shocked if these are brand new. Look at this. It's been used at the most once. This is a 3000 mesh, four micron, 3000 grit whetstone. This thing is like a 70, $80 whetstone right here. Too bad I don't need it. If I needed it, I'd keep it. But I think I'm going to give it away to one of you guys. All right. So this one here is a 10,000 grit whetstone. Been used once. This thing is... It is <laughs> oh. uh, this is why I get frustrated with these unboxings. Because I see, you know, perfectly good new products get returned. Uh, and I understand. I mean, circumstances change, you know. Things, things happen, but <laughs> I'm going to stop there. This is a Mac. Oh, this is the Mac Pro. One of their higher end 
Mac knives. This is the 200 millimeter. It's got a few scratches from just washing with a hard sponge, but the edge is, yeah, the edge is nice and clean. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, check this out. An electric sharpener from Kai. Uh, most of knives used all dirty. Okay, so this is a uh, knife kit, knife set from Nexus. Me no sharp whetstone. So this is a, a 6,000 grit whetstone with its own base. I'm guessing this is pretty much brand new as well. So we got some six piece steak knives. Who needs steak knives? And chef's choice, diamond hone hand sharpener. These are pull through hand sharpeners. Oh, look at this Enzo knife bag. Who needs a knife bag? These are like, I don't know. These are like $150, $200. <laughs> Pretty nice. Cleaver, slicer, prep knife, brisket knife, 12 inch brisket knife. Ooh, Shun Santoku. Yeah, so this has been used a few times. This person hacked into a few bones. Uh, this is really just from an uneducated buyer who doesn't know that you can't cut into bone with a Japanese knife. And this is what happens. You know, this is like $120 Santoku right here. It's wasted. Well, I wouldn't say wasted because I will do something with it. I will either repair it or one of you guys will repair it and uh, have a brand new knife. Chef knife, paring knife, chef knife, chef knife. Nakiri, chef knife. Oh, look at this. Kai whetstone, a Kai Shun whetstone. Brand new. <laughs> ah, brand new whetstone right here. Um, okay, so we got here. I mean, I'm looking at this just like, I'm just looking and kind of estimating or guesstimating how much everything costs. Uh, we're probably looking at about $2,000 of knives just in this one box alone. Let's move this aside. These knives I'm really excited about. I only opened a couple of them last week and uh, when I showed you guys what they were, but we're gonna open a few more today and uh, show you guys what's in the mail for some of you guys, hopefully a dozen of you guys this week. And um, yeah, so let's just start here. Oh, look at that beautiful handle. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. That is Kramer-esque blade with a octagonal handle, stabilized wood. Yeah, it's very similar to a Kramer. Uh, in terms of actual differences, let's see here. The spine profile of this knife here is a bit flatter than the actual Kramer. Um, the blade height is not, it's about maybe one or two millimeters shorter than the Kramer. Uh, but I like the octagonal handle a lot of this uh, on this knife here. Yeah, it feels really nice in the hands. You know, some people have complained, uh, or actually a lot of people complain that the Kramer's handle is a bit too girthy. This feels really nice in the hands. I like this one a lot. That, look at this Karitsuke with that beautiful, that is really nice. This is a carbon fiber handle with the carbon fiber ferrule and the end cap. Now the Karitsuke with a stabilized handle. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Tell me you cannot use this in your kitchen. That is, that's pretty bad. And it's got a copper ring, an octagonal handle. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Somebody is gonna be really happy with this knife right here. <laughs> Oh, somebody's gonna like this knife a lot. Uh, it would look really good on this wall too, by the way, but no, it'll look even better in your home, somebody's home. Okay, so this is the blue, oh, this is a new one. It's a Gyoto, yeah, Damascus cladded. It's got this blue greenish stabilized handle. Yeah, very cool looking. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Can you see that? No, probably it's too dark. Ah, oh, look at this beautiful, beautiful handle right here. It's got this honeycomb 
texture to it uh, with a resin handle and a carbon fiber ferrule, carbon fiber end cap. It is really pretty, really pretty. Uh, then we got the one that you guys have already seen, the Kramer-esque handle. Yeah, with the, I guess they call this a feather Damascus. It's got a really nice pattern to it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's nice. Oh yeah, check this out. This is an ebony octagonal handle. Got a nice cool look to it. And even the spine, you can see the hammering all the way up to the spine, which is something you don't see very often. I don't know how that will actually affect performance, um, but it feels fine in the hands. I don't think that'll actually bother you if you had your finger on top of the spine. Uh, they actually still did finish the spine, but you can still feel the ripple, which is interesting. It's a very interesting take on knife design. So I misquoted last week. Last week I said these knives um, in this box here were like 80 to $90. I did a bit more research. Um, these knives are more like in the 110 to $120 range. So <laughs> I misquoted just a little bit. Last week I picked 12. This week I'm picking 12 as well, but six are gonna be damaged and six are gonna be for anyone. I don't care who it is. You don't have to be a restaurant owner. You don't have to be a chef. That's just lost his job. I'm just giving six away. The only criteria is you have to be subscribed and that's it. If you want a damaged knife, leave in the comments below that you want a damaged knife, why you want it, whether you want to keep it for yourself, you're a hobbyist, you are an amateur knife repairer, whatever it is, let me know in the comments and I will pick six of you to give the damaged knives to, okay? If you guys want a knife either for yourself or a significant other, for your mother, whoever it is, whether they're working in the front lines of this pandemic, if you're a firefighter, whatever it is, if you want one of these knives, let me know in the comments as well. Let me know what you want to use it for, and I will select six of you for this giveaway. And then for my Patreon, you guys are getting a separate announcement as well. So there's another dozen, actually probably close to two dozen knives in this box right here. Uh, you guys are getting your own separate announcement for Patreon giveaways. You know, short of going to your home, giving you a hug and a thank you, this is the best way I can express my gratitude and to say thank you to everyone who has helped me get to where I am today. Uh, without you guys, those who have been with me since the very beginning and those new subscribers, I would not be where I am today. So I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart for making this all possible. And I'm just doing my absolute best to give back what I can. Keep in mind, this is only two, you guys only saw two boxes today. I've got five boxes here. And based on some really rough calculations, I've got about $10,000 of knives to give away over these next few months. And so I'm gonna give all of them away, okay? Um, I am gonna technically have to charge a dollar for them because of some legal reasons and some legal threats that have been placed upon me um, last year. Okay, I got my dozen crush-proof boxes. Foam paper. <laughs> so I'm sure you guys don't wanna watch this. So I'm gonna turn the camera off, get these wrapped up, and uh, hopefully by the time you guys are seeing this video, um, I'm gonna start picking my winners in the next day or so. All right? Yeah. All right, guys, thank you for being here and I'll catch you in the next video officially.